All right, update for round one. I uh, played against four tons on the Sendor map, which is pretty open. Dude basically just ran all his shit at me. I had to get mega aggressive with Yoda. Yoda died because he rolled like shit. But I think he chose the wrong objective, so like his options of ever winning were like mega low from the start. So by the end of the game, all I had to do was just kill all of his regular troopers. He had like just Han Solo left, and then all my other jabronis got the boxes, and it was like, you know, very low stress round one. So now I got like two hours until round two. All right, so they just posted pairings. I got Brian Bear round two, which is pretty miserable. That's the guy that I lost to at Gen Con last year. So we'll see. If I lose this game, I'm out of the tournament, probably. Uh, but if I win, then I'm in pretty good shape. So we'll see you in two hours. What's up, All right. guys? All right, I'm here with, with Brian. This man's a menace. This game was fucking stressful. <laughs> Sit down. He says he has 13 activations. I immediately want to kill myself. We plan on breakthrough. And uh, Brian, so like, what do you, when you saw R2 make that save, like, what, what like ran through your head? It was five of seven, just yeah. so you know. Five, uh, I'm five of seven. I'm very aware. Um, so he, R2, R2 uh, had three mines blow up on him. He had four wounds and save. No, he had two wounds and saved five of seven. And took two more. And uh, but at the very at the last three, he blocked all of them. And I was just like, like I, I needed him to die. I, he had to die there, and because he didn't die there, you had. Your, the activation advantage was, yeah. was uh, yeah. not I, I, as like high. Like the started coming in my way. Exactly. Exactly. If he, because that would have been round three that he, or round two, no, round three that he died. Uh, so maybe it was round two. Four. Was it four? Yeah. Well, four is where where he like okay. made the two the back to backs. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I was I was thinking about that game. Like I think how that played out, you were probably more favored than me because I, I let you get the bombs. Like I think if I could play that again. I would just not shoot these dumbass fucking spider birds. Like I, I took the bait. You, I felt really stupid. Like thinking about it after, I'm like, they have flamers. Star and I don't Wars have flamers. Right. Fifteen like, minutes left I'm, I'm minutes like single left model units. Like I should just allow your spiders to just take two dice shots on everything and not give a fuck. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, the other thing though that was really clutch um, is that I would agree with you 100 percent, except that uh, when you rolled that those first two rounds against those spiders, yeah. you were hitting crits like a madman. Yeah. Like, because I had like really good. Because I had Echo and I had Chewy. Yes. And they were able to hit the surges. Right? Yes. So, like, yeah, I think and, they, you, and you rolled several like, natural like, grits. Yeah. Too. Like, like the Chew. I remember the Chewy fire support shot. The fire support didn't even do anything because he rolled like a crit, a surge, and then a regular hit. Just right. like, all right, well, yeah. the fucking armor's not gonna do anything anyways. Right. But uh, I, they did those, those spiders against your list. I looked at it and I was like, he's not gonna be able to hurt those spiders at all. And then you killed two of them before they could do anything, and I was. I was pretty shocked by that. Uh, yeah, but also, like, letting those fucking mine guys get in was so dumb. I cannot yes. believe I, like, yes. I, I look at back at that, I'm like, that is a game losing mistake, right? Like, yeah. when they go in, they just drop the mines. Like, he killed Echo like that. Yeah. Like, Echo just fucking died, and he's, like, one of my most important units, so. Yeah, yeah. Yoda carry. But yes. that, that was, that was, Yoda, was solid. Yoda was solid. Oh, man, I was, when Yoda starts attacking, that's that's desperation central. And I'm like, all right, I got no other choice. Yeah. Send the frog. He did great. It's like he did great. And, frog and or you bust. Did, you did great, man. Like it was. Oh. Uh, like by the by the end of round four, I was just like, dang, Danny played this so well. Like I really thought I had it, and it's it's come come apart. <laughs> it, it was looking rough, man. Like I, I needed Yoda to really really pick up the weight. Right. I needed him to guard all these B ones. I needed him to just hold the line. And then if I could just slip a couple of the, like, uh, sorry, a couple of the speeders. Because I also have that Chewy movement part in the back part. Right? So yeah. Chewy doesn't have to get that close. Chewy can creep up, and then I can just rocket launch him and Yoda. So yeah. cool. It's such so, a cool good play. So my thought was four. I need four. And then, like, I don't even need R2 alive, but I need. it helps a lot if he is. Because, right? yes, like, yes. you had pathways to maybe get to five. Maybe. And that's where I was like, yeah, Yoda's, Yoda's going to have to really come through. I, I think, I actually wonder... You just don't have enough firepower. I think if I just started just instead of attacking your guys, just start just double moving yeah. everything, then I'd have been in much better shape. Because my list is all precision, right? Yeah. Like I, I, I'm not trying to throw buckets of dice at things, and so like that's what I did against the spiders round one, and it, it, it didn't even do as much as I maybe needed it to. So. Right. Right. Yeah. I, just, yeah, I think I think if, if I could play it again, I think I just rush everything on this side of that that. And I'm fine toilet bowling with you because yep. I just don't know you if you can kill Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, great game as always. It was always. awesome. It was yeah. awesome, man. Okay, dude. Yeah. All right, round three update. Uh, I played a Yoda mirror, which is super weird. Like, uh, he was on seven act. Like Yoda, just like gigantic, big boys, and then mine's more mobile. 
So you would think it's a coin flip, but I have R2 and he doesn't. So I have the ability to break ties and we played an objective that was a tied objective. So he had to come and like kill me and he just didn't have the gas. Like I basically ran away the whole game and he like cut off the middle and I just said like eat it everyone on the other side and then R2 at some point just flinged to the back corner of his deployment zone, get a free point game over. Like he did kill way more shit than I did. Like I killed almost nothing. He killed like half my army, but like if you can't get the points, you can't get the points. So, you know, but much less stressful in the first game. Like playing playing Brian Bear round two is fucking atrocious. Like that that is like something you should be playing on the top side, not um, two. Um, this one was like way more reasonable, but like the guy's a good player. Like Nathan hopefully makes a cut. We'll see. Number one, number one. So the bad thing about playing a bunch of people that are good is that your games are harder. The good thing is I max out SOS. Like every single person I played, I was their only loss. So number one in Swiss, we just gotta keep that riding all the way into Saturday and maybe even Sunday. All right, top 16 update. I played against someone that was running three swoops and cat bait. So we played bombing run. So the bombs basically wash out. And it kind of comes down to, can is Cad Bane get a bounty or can my R2 make it across? We deploy on Disarray and he has like no realistic way with how he deployed to get R2. So I was like, okay, this shit's a wrap. Like he picked you, he has his bounty. As long as I guard Chewie from Cad, we're great. Now I made one very, very big mistake, which is when we deployed, I had two barks on the opposite end of the map and I thought they were safe and they weren't. Like his bus could move, eject out some Black Sun and then they could potentially roast the bike. I forgot about this. And I and when I needed to just like suicide run one of the barks and just drop a bomb. Because I didn't do that, um, he was able to go take a shot on it. He didn't one shot it, thank I think if he one shots it, I probably just lose. Or at least it becomes like very, very dicey. Um, so he so he didn't one shot it, but it did make it so the so he got slower. So then, so the so then like the bark slower, bark can only move twice. I just basically moved the bark to the middle to drop the to put the bomb in the middle where like my Yoda could go fight for it. So like he starts moving his guys to the middle. I have to rocket launch Yoda and Chewie to go guard the bomb, and for pretty much the entire game, Yoda just hacking up Black Suns towards the tail end, he picks up the, the bomb, runs away, and is able to drop the bomb. So then, at that point, he invested way too much into trying to stop that. Uh, R2 just scoots by, does it again. So now we're in the top eight. If I win that, then I go top four Sunday. All right, so top eight match, uh, I won. So now we get to go play top four tomorrow. In the game itself, we were playing Breakthrough, and the guy's playing two AATs and a bunch of like dirtbag asteroids. Uh, he was able to get breakthrough on slot three, which is really big for him because all the other objectives, he's pretty much dead in the water. Um, so he's able to force it. But the problem was I got him on limb biz and I also got him on him. So his only real path to victory is he has to have both of his guys like kind of like, like rush me super hard, kill a bunch of shit, and then like slip into my end zone in like the last couple minutes or last like two turns or something. Where he got got is on turn two, I think he thought that like his tank was safer than it was. And he didn't really understand how much like the Chewy machine gun on Yoda's 3 pip can, can hit him for. So this big ass tanker, you're like, hey, red saves, nine health, I'm good. Ended up taking six damage on that turn. So now what has to happen is he starts moving the tank backwards. Um, the other tank's kind of coming close, but I then move Yoda and Chewy into the middle on turn three. And I start threatening his other tank. So now he has both tanks backpedaling, one trying to just run away from Yoda, potentially hacking him up, the other one trying to also run away from Yoda. And then you have another issue, which is that like, he still has to get rid of Chewie because Chewie's the only one that has the ranged pierce with impact. So he's like shooting Chewie instead of shooting Yoda or anyone else. So then what happens, I just choose which one of the tanks I want to kill. I go kill the one that was already damaged. Yoda goes, claps him, gets in the end zone. All the barks get in there. Like he's able to kill three guys. Um, like he's able to, he got Chewie eventually, but he just didn't have any more gas. Like I he could have gotten like maybe five points. He tried to opt to kill a bark, cost him a couple points. And I got like my whole army just like skirted into the uh, the end zone and we're doing good. So yeah, uh, pretty low stress game and hopefully we'll keep it going for tomorrow.
motherfucker almost got me. So I just played my semifinal match. I was playing against Izzy. Izzy's the same dude that I had to play in the top 64 at Worlds. And the game we played there came down to one health on Yoda. The game we played here came down to one health on R2. And I thought I had the game in the bag, but like he made a lot of really good plays towards the end and just shredded my entire army to the point where like R2 was legally able to get shot. Boba went in, only found four paint, so R2 made it on one health. And we rolled it out just to see, like, okay, if, if he would have gotten the fifth hit, does R2 die? And he absolutely dies. So, yeah, that shit sucks. Izzy's a great guy. Don't want to play him again. Like, every time I play him, I feel like I lose, like, six months of life expectancy. Like, it just, it's brutal how stressful these games are. So I got the final starting in about, like, an hour or something. Um, the match I'm supposed, the guy that I'm playing is a remnant list. So, like, I actually feel pretty good about that. I'm like, like, Izzy was, like, by far the scariest guy at this event like just like kind of circling each other he was i was king of swiss day one he's king of swiss day two i was hoping someone would knock him out for me and i guess you just got to do the work yourself if you want to be the champ you got to beat the former champ right so here we are uh, i think that in the in the next one though i know he doesn't have a force user i know he doesn't have speeders i know he doesn't have me on bid so like basically as long as I can get like a favorable objective and like really just pick my spots carefully and hopefully just don't end up on a map that has like no blocking terrain, I think I got it. But you never know, I could just roll like shit and then I lose in the finals and I come home crying. Been a hectic last couple hours. Basically got done with my match and immediately after I finished my match, I just like gotta go get the prizes, gotta get the Uber, gotta get to the airport. Cause I just, I'm running like a very tight schedule, but we won, took it down. I'm so happy. Like I, I kind of knew from the jump that the game was pretty much a wrap because the dude doesn't got a force user, don't got speeders. So like, there's not that much you can realistically do to me. And we got to play hostage game one. I'm like, let's go. Uh, I was able to um, lock the opponent's hostage turn two because Yoda used uh, one pip turn one, double moves, gets close to the hostage, top of turn two, play R2 three pip. So then I'm able to lock in the hostage. And then at that point I can just dance all the way down the sideline for like five turns with Yoda. And Yoda did roll like shit on the first roll, like blank three out of three saves, which felt miserable. But like, I just hacked this guy's down to the point where they could mathematically never kill him. Unfortunately, there was another problem, which is that he had Moff Gideon come around the side. And I think I maybe got a little too comfortable and thought that I was like way too far ahead and I didn't take the Gideon threat seriously enough. And so when I exposed, I exposed my hostage a little bit more than I should have just to try to like hedge the R2 thing to try to give shields. My hostage gets nuked. So now that token becomes gettable. And in the final round, all I had to realistically do is just continue dancing with Yoda. And even if Gideon gets my hostage, I still went two to one. But I made the mistake of like trying to like over secure the second one when I didn't have to. So it created a circumstance where on the final turn, we had to roll off. And if I lose the roll off, I then have to kill Gideon to win the game. If I win the roll off, it's just game over. Um, and I got the roll off, thankfully, but it's almost punted, right? We almost blew it. Yeah, feel, feel big relief. It is cool that I was able to beat Izzy in order to win, right? Like, and I played Izzy round uh, or semifinals, but like he won last year. So it's like, hey, you got to beat the guy to be the guy, right? And so being able to beat him, that that felt like a huge weight off my shoulders. And going into the last round, I felt felt really, really good. And so now I get to have a nice long sleep because let me tell you, when I set my 6.30 a.m. alarm at 3.30, it felt pretty awful. And uh, the day before that was also kind of pretty awful. It's just like the, the sleep is not, 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 really, not really happening. So I'll probably get home. By 10 p.m., I'm going to be, like, in bed and cocked out and then go to work tomorrow. Also, one side note, I decided to wear this shirt uh, just because I wore it last year when I won Vampire. And the photo of me being, like, shaking the designer's hand while wearing the No Waifu, No Waifu shirt is just really funny. And we got to do it again. So now I think any time I make the cut for any game, I just got to wear this shirt just so I can try to see if I can make a collection of people being forced to shake my hand while wearing this in a game that people take seriously. All right, so unpacking all of my stuff, right? Getting all my promos out. Everything that I got for doing well in this Legion event, I'm just gonna sell, except for one thing. And it's this one of one wicket. So like this guy, we're gonna get him sleeved. We're gonna get him in some sort of nice case and he's going to the trophy case. 